In the last video, we spoke about the overall design of our campaign contract. We're now going to move over to the Remix editor and start writing some code to implement the contract. Again, once we finish up the implementation, we'll then introduce the React side of our project and put together a really nice looking front end for this thing. So I'm going to flip on over to my Remix editor. If you've already closed it, remember you can access it at remix.ethereum.org. Once inside of here, you might see that all of our code from the lottery contract is still on the screen. So you can highlight that entire contract and delete the entire thing. And so we're left with essentially an empty file, except for the remaining pragma mark at the very top. Inside of here, we'll immediately define the new contract. I'm gonna call this thing campaign because that's really what it is. It's a crowdfunding campaign. We could also call it something like, say, crowdfund. We could call it project. You know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, but I think campaign makes a lot of sense. The first function and the first variable that we're going to define in this thing will be around handling the manager. So remember, the manager is going to be the address of the person who created and is managing this campaign. And we're going to set its value inside of the constructor function. So back inside the contract, We'll tell our contract, hey, you're gonna have a variable called address. We're gonna make it public, and its name is going to be manager. We've spoken about the difference between public and private many times. This is another case where, hey, I really have no problem if people want to find out what the address of our manager is. That's totally okay for me. In fact, for a crowdfunding campaign, we probably want this information to be public. We want people to have very easy access to figure out exactly who the manager is, because that just instills a little bit more confidence if you understand who is working with the money for a given campaign. Right underneath that, we'll then define our constructor function. So we'll say function campaign, we'll mark it as public, and then inside of here, we'll take the address of the manager or the person who's creating the contract and assign it to the manager variable. So we can say manager, equals message.sender. We've used this message global variable for before. Remember, we don't have to define it or do anything. It's just a variable that is always available to us. And then we're going to refer to the sender property on it. The sender property describes exactly who is attempting to create the contract. Now we did this pretty quickly. So hey, while we're here, let's also take care of that minimum contribution variable as well. Minimum contribution is going to be an unsigned int that's going to reflect the minimum amount of money required for a contributor. In the past, we had said on our lottery contract that it was always a fixed amount of 0.01 Ether. So this time around, we are acknowledging that people might have different minimum funding requirements, and we're going to allow them to set that, this value on the fly. We'll take this as an argument into the constructor function. We've done this once already back on our inbox project much earlier in the course. So we're going to say that whenever someone creates a new instance of a campaign, they should be passing in a uint, oops, uint, and we'll call this thing minimum. And then inside of the function body, we'll take minimum contribution, and that will be the minimum variable argument. And then notice that the editor is complaining a little bit because we have not yet initialized this variable. So back up right underneath our address, we'll say that we're gonna have a uint that is also public and it's called minimum contribution, like so. All right, so nothing too crazy yet. We've defined our two variables and a constructor function. Let's pause here and then we'll continue in the next section and start working on some more of our variables and functions.